In this video, we're going to look at algebraic notation. It's very important in maths to remember that if you see an x or a y, it just stands for a number. So here we've got x plus 3, and you read it as x plus 3, or x add 3. And it means 3 more than x, because you've got x, and you're adding 3 to it. Here, we have got 3 plus x, and again it's read as 3 plus x, or 3 add x. And it means x more than 3. You've got 3, and you're adding x to it. If, for instance, x was equal to 10, this would be 10 plus 3, which would be 13. This would also be 3 plus 10, which is also equal to 13. Because remember, in maths, it doesn't matter what order you add numbers in. Okay, next. Here we have got x subtract 3. And that would mean 3 less than x. So if you've got x and you take away 3 from it, you'll be going down 3. Or you'll be taking 3, you'll be going 3 less than whatever x is. Uh, this one, on the other hand, means 3 subtract x. So it means x less than 3. Now if you had, for instance, that x was equal to 10, these would have two different values. This would be 10 subtract 3. So 10 subtract 3, which would be equal to 7. But this one, on the other hand, means 3 subtract 10, which would be equal to minus 7. Okay. Next, 4x. So if you have a 4 and an x beside each other, that means 4 times x. In algebra, you tend not to write the multiplication sign. So you tend not to not write 4 times x like so. You tend to just put it beside each other to write 4x. So 4x means 4 times x. So if x was equal to 10, that would be 4 times 10, which would be 40. So if you had 8 times y, you would write it as 8y. Or if you had a times w, you would write it as aw. Or if you had... Um, w times c, you'd write it as cw. It's normal to write it in alphabetical order. Okay, So in algebra, you tend not to write the multiplication sign. You just either put the number directly beside the letter, and that means uh, whatever the number is times whatever the letter is. So for instance here, 4x means 4 times x. Or if you multiply two letters uh, by each other, you tend to just put them beside each other, unless it's the same letter, and we'll look at that in a minute. Okay, x line 2. That means x divided by 2. So the line means divided by. So in algebra you tend to not write the divide by sign, you tend to write a line like so. Um, you can say it as x divided by 2, you could write, write it as a symbol, you could write x divided by 2, or you might even say x over 2. And it just means whatever x is divided by 2. If you wanted to write y divided by 4, you would write y over 4. So you tend not to write the divide by symbol whenever you're, you are using algebraic notation, you tend to use the line like so. Okay, next. Sometimes you may see an x with a little 2 above it, and that means x squared. So this little 2 means squared. And x squared means multiply x by itself. So it means x times x. So if you see a little 2 above a letter, it means multiply whatever the letter is by itself. So if you see y with a little 2, it means y squared, or y times y. Okay, and finally, if there's a little 3, it means cubed. So a y with a little 3 above it would mean y cubed, or y times y times y. So if you had w with a little 3, that means w cubed, which is w times w times w. And if you know what value it is, you would just multiply that by itself, by itself again. So for instance, if w is equal to 3, you would do 3 times 3 times 3.